Hi kids, it's Miss Barbara here and I just wanted to make another video for you guys um, to say hello. Um, I hope that you guys have had an amazing day. Um, I want to read another Bible story to you, another story about Jesus. And who is Jesus again? Yeah, he's God's only son. And he came down from heaven to live on this earth as a human like me or you, um, except that he was perfect and he never did anything wrong. And he would come to this earth so that he could die on the cross for our sins. And before he would do that, he would teach people and heal people and help people. And he also would choose 12 men to follow him and to become his disciples. Now, do you guys know what a disciple is? A disciple was somebody who followed Jesus and learned how to be like him. So these men would follow him everywhere he went. And they would ask him questions and he would teach them. And they would see what Jesus was like. They would listen to him. And they would learn just how to be like him. And we can be disciples as well. We can learn from Jesus by reading our Bibles. And we can learn how to be like Jesus too. But there's a story in the Bible in Matthew chapter 4 about four men that Jesus was going to ask and call to be his disciples. So let's read it in the Bible. If you want, you can pause the video and you can go get your Bible and you can find Matthew chapter 4 verses 18 through 22 and read along with me. And if not, that's okay. Just listen very carefully as I read. One day, Jesus was walking along the shore of the Sea of Galilee. He saw two brothers, Simon, also called Peter, and Andrew throwing a net into the water, for they fished for a living. Jesus called out to them, Come, follow me, and I will show you how to fish for people. And they left their nets at once and followed him. A little farther up the shore, he saw two other brothers, James and John, sitting in a boat with their father Zebedee, repairing their nets, and he called them uh, to come too. They immediately followed him, leaving the boat and their father behind. And so Jesus, he's walking by the Sea of Galilee. Now the Sea of Galilee is like a big giant lake that's in the country of Israel. And you guys know what kind of animal lives in a lake and swims under the water. A fish, right? So the Sea of Galilee had a lot of fish. And Andrew and Peter, who were brothers, they were fishermen. And that's what they did for their job. They would catch fish. Have you guys ever been fishing before? Have you ever gone up to the mountains and maybe gone to a big lake and, and gone fishing? Well, what do we use to catch fish? Well, we use maybe a net, right? We can use a net to catch the fish. Um, what else do we use? Ooh, I know. We use, how about this? A fishing pole. Yeah, have you guys ever used a fishing pole to catch fish? Right? You throw it in there and you put something on the end, like maybe a worm or something that the fish wants to eat and then you catch it. Well, Jesus, he said something kind of strange. He said that if they followed him, he would make them a fisher of men. What do you guys think that means? What is a fisher of men? What does that mean that they were going to fish for people? Hmm, does that mean that Jesus wanted them to take their nets and catch people like that? Hmm, I don't think so. Ooh, I think I know. Hmm, just give me a second here. I think I know exactly what to do. I bet they 
tape, a fishing pole, and put something on the end that people would want to eat, like a cupcake. Ooh, I bet I can catch a person with this. I bet that's what Jesus meant. Let's see if I can catch a person. Hmm. Oh, I got something. I got something. Whoa. Oh, who is it? Who did I catch? It's me, Pastor Jeff, because I like cupcakes. <laughs> hey, kids, I miss you guys, and I can't wait to see you. But I hope that you're learning to be a disciple for Jesus. And I hope that you're being good at home. And remember, keep reading your Bibles, keep praying, pray for your parents, pray for your family, your brothers, your sisters, and, and pray for us as well at church. I miss you guys so much and looking forward to when we can get together. But God bless you guys and good to see you. And, and what an important lesson this is, that you desire to be a disciple of Jesus because he loves you so much. And he's going to bless you so much as you follow after him. So God bless you guys. I'm going to let you have the rest of your, your uh, actually, I'm going to eat the cupcake. And <laughs> you guys finish your lesson. Okay, we'll see you soon. Take care. Wow. Okay, so we actually caught a person, right? We caught Pastor Jeff. Ooh. But do you guys think that that's, you know, what Jesus was talking about? That we should, you know, tie a cupcake onto our fishing pole, and throw it out there and see who we catch. That's not quite what Jesus was talking about. Um, what he was talking about was to be a fisher of men means that we give people the good news of the gospel. And what I mean by that is that we have a very good and important message that we can give people. Because remember earlier I said that Jesus, he came to this earth and he came so that he could die on the cross. Well, we all have sinned, right? We've all done bad things. And the Bible tells us that the punishment for sins is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus. Jesus took my sins on himself and he died on the cross so that he could pay the punishment for my sins. And three days later, he rose again and he is alive. And all I have to do is to, to admit that I've done wrong things, just believe that Jesus died for me, and to ask for Jesus to forgive me and if I do that I'm a child of God and because Jesus has forgiven my sins I can follow Jesus I can know Jesus I can have a relationship with Jesus I can have a friendship with Jesus so to follow Jesus means that I'm learning about Jesus through the Bible right this is how we learn about Jesus is through the Bible. When we read the Bible, it's like we're reading His words to us. Um, also, I can pray and talk to Jesus through praying. All right? And so I can do these things to know Jesus more. And He'll teach me. Um, and that's the message that we can tell other people. And that's what Jesus meant when he said, be a fisher of people. It means that instead of putting a cupcake on a fishing pole and putting it in front of them, it means that instead we give them the good news that Jesus died on the cross for their sins. Because we have this amazing message that we want to be able to share. And we have God's love that we can share with other people. And that's what Jesus meant when he said that he was going to make those disciples fishers of men, is that he was going to teach them how they can teach other people about Jesus, how they could tell other people about Jesus and, and tell them how they can become a child of God. And we can do the same thing 
Um, you can maybe read your Bible to a younger sibling or maybe a friend that you have. Um, you could, when we are able to go back to church, um, you could invite maybe a friend to come with you. There are lots of different ways that we can be a fisher of men and we can tell other people about Jesus. And so that's what Jesus wants to do. And um, I just want to uh, encourage you guys with that and, um, and to just, yeah, encourage you to share that good news that Jesus died on the cross for our sins with those that you can um, during this time. And so um, I miss you guys, and Pastor Jeff misses you guys too. Um, and I hope that we can be together in class very soon. Um, but until then, keep reading your Bibles, keep praying, and keep looking for opportunities to tell the people that you love and people around you uh, what Jesus did for them and to be that fisher of men. Bye, you guys.